Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz once again. We're back with another tutorial. Um, we're going to be gluing up a body today. Um, I will put a disclaimer out there. This is a time sensitive thing, so if I have to pull the, we'll try to do it on camera, but if I have to pull the truck off camera to apply glue or something like that, you'll just have to bear with me um, and kind of take my word for what I'm doing at that moment. Um, like I said, it's a time sensitive thing. Um, nothing crazy, but this is for a customer. Um, I had the body done by Caldwell Raceworks. Um, I don't want to mess this paint up. Probably the sickest body I've ever seen painted in 24 scale. So, um, we're going to get straight into it, but basically the couple things you're going to need to do this, you obviously need your mag mounts and your body, uh, your chassis. You're also your shoe goo. Uh, that's what I'm using today. I use E6000 as well, but um, I think Shugu is a little less um, harsh and I definitely don't want the paint to bleed or anything. So I'm going to use Shugu today. We're going to give that a try. Um, I have a thing of just your Q-tips from any Sally's or beauty place. I'm sure Walmart, wherever you can get them. Um, and I also have a... a few toothpicks over here um the q-tips will be for any kind of cleanup while you're doing the glue up so that you're not getting them making a mess toothpicks are going to be more for uh just making sure that i i may or may not need any of that stuff but just to make sure i can contain the glue on the magnets when i go to glue the body up so i've got the truck set up we're obviously we got a clean surface on the bottom make sure it's clean uh, don't use any kind of acetone or anything like that. Obviously, it's on paint. Uh, just make sure you don't have a bunch of dust and debris on there. You want it to adhere as much as possible. I'm worried about this detail in the pink because, as you can see, it's the highest part on the bottom of the body. Um, I don't want that to bleed. That's going to ruin the paint job. So, if I ruin it, I'm going to ruin it on camera for y'all. Um have my mounts already on, my magnets are clean. I've already cleaned those with an alcohol swab. Um, I also have a few extra magnets. You can get these off uh, Amazon and that actually goes into one thing I'd like to say. I send magnets with the kits, but there are all different thicknesses of magnets. So as long as you got an eight millimeter diameter, uh, you can adjust how the air gap between the body and the magnets. Just put the supplied magnets on there. It all depends on how you cut the bottom of your body. This one's cut a little bit with a left with a little bit more than I usually put leave on it. So I actually put five millimeter tall magnets in the mounts because I needed about two millimeters worth of extra height to get the air gap between the body and the magnets that I really wanted. I like to have about a millimeter between the magnets and the body for the best adhesion. Um, I don't like it to sit directly down on it completely flat and I don't like it to be way up off of it where you're trying to, you know, put a ton of glue to fill up that area. So, <clears throat> Amazon's your friend, you can get, you know, as long as they're eight millimeter diameter, you can get them from anywhere from one millimeter tall to probably eight millimeters tall, 10 millimeters tall. Um, but you wanna check that gap before you start any of this glue up process. I know all that's good on mine. Um, I have a few of these extra magnets. I'm actually gonna use these to hold, after the body goes on, after we sit it on, these magnets will then go on top of the body, which will connect to the magnets we're gluing, and that'll we'll, that'll be used as like a clamping uh, clamping force to hold the body where it needs to be. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is 
get my glue put on my three magnets. I'm gonna set the body on there, try not to move it. We're gonna try to set it straight down on there where we want it. It's gonna be in place. We're gonna put our magnets. I actually have a piece of tape here. We're gonna put the piece of tape to protect the clear body shell up here. We're gonna just eyeball it. We're gonna put it somewhere about right there. That's just gonna keep our magnets from scratching our body. Back here we have a decal. We don't really need to worry about it. So we're gonna get those magnets set on there, the body set in place, and then we're gonna flip the body. And I just have this little tripod that I'm gonna to use to shim the body so that it lays flat. Basically what that's gonna do is let, instead of letting the glue droop down, we're using gravity to our uh, advantage and we're letting that glue that may press out drip back down to the body, which is gonna give us more surface area of the glue attaching the magnets to the body. So I'm going to take this here truck. We'll try to set it in here. This, I like to keep the body away from it because this shoe goo E6000, any of those glues, they're very uh, viscous, I would say. They're very thick, they string. Um, I also have a just a balled up thing, a paper towel here to make sure I'm not getting glue all over everything. Um, less is more for this. You need to have a little bubble of glue on top, but you don't want so much that it's running down the magnets and gluing the magnets to, or you know, gluing the body, the magnets and everything to the mounts. You don't want that. So we're gonna try to put a little dabble, do you? That's too much already. As you can see, and I try not to let that string off. Um, that's too much. So we'll go ahead and very quickly dab that. Dab this. That should be more than enough on all of them. We're gonna take one of our Q-tips. Just make sure that this is cleaned up. Get that little bit off there. Everything else looks pretty good. May put a little bit more right on that front one. Yeah, we're gonna put just a little more, a little more on this guy on the front. So we got that dabbed up on there. We're going to then, let's make sure that don't fall over the edge. Making a mess here. Y'all can see how thick this stuff is. But basically, there we go. Get that out of the way so we're not messing the body up we're going to take our body i'm going to pull this off camera to put this down the first time actually let's get just a note we got plenty on the back i'm going to set this body down what we're trying to do is set this down and not move it that's what we're trying to do that's what we're trying to accomplish. We wanna get this body set down in place in the grooves of the sliders, lined up where we want it. I have that tape over it, I cannot see it. The body is centered. We're gonna take our magnets. We don't wanna move that. Take our magnets, we're gonna set a magnet on each top of each magnet. You can hear it click down. Both of them click down. That's giving us, that's compressing these magnets down and squeezing the glue against the body. We're then, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna check alignment one more time. This is where we'll, we'll shift it and make any kind of adjustments. Um, 
this body looks like it lines up really well. We're gonna immediately turn it over. We're gonna lay it down on the on its top side. I just set this under there. So now we have that body attached. We have the magnet still helping us with that clamping force. And I got the body, I got the truck upside down, about as level as I can get it. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want it to fall off of this little tripod. But I'm used I'm just using gravity for that. That glue is very thick, and if it creeps, it's gonna creep down. And I don't want it to creep onto the magnets and glue it together. I want it to creep down onto the body and kind of make a nice clean surface around the magnets. Um at this point, this is this is where I'm done with this. I will not touch this for at least 24 hours. Um, I recommend 48 hours before you try to break the magnets loose from the from each other and pull the body off. The longer you let it cure, you're, it, it's 24 hours minimum. Don't think 12 is going to be enough. I'm telling you, this is something you do not want to mess up. Um, you mess up a paint job, you have to start that over. Then you start the gluing process over. You want to take your time on this. Um, make sure you do it right. And there's no need to rush it. Um, you know, like I said, 24 hours bare minimum. This body will probably sit at least 48, if not 72 hours, because I'm not in a rush. Um, so at this point, we're done with the body. We're going to walk away from it. We're not going to touch it again. Um, when, once we're, we're done letting this cure, I'll come back and uh, shoot another part of this video. And we'll basically go over uh, any kind of what we're going to add to around the magnets. Once we pull the body off, I like to add sometimes. It depends how it comes out. So we, we may or may not shoot. Another part of this video, um, I'll at least shoot something to show y'all what it looks like finished. But sometimes I add a little bit more Shugu or E6000 around the base of the magnets to give it a little more surface area for it to grab to after it's cured the first time. You then again wait another at least 24 hours. That one's not such so, you know, so particular to wait that long, but that's the curing time. So um we'll come back shoot another part of this show you how it is once it's finished peel the tape off of it show you how uh how i pull bodies off to try to save the magnets from pulling away from the body um and once we get back with that or once this uh cures up we'll get back with y'all um so like i said this is one of them things you just do not want to rush uh, do it right the first time, make sure you're set up, make sure you're organized. You saw me do it on camera. As long as you know what you're doing, you know, as long as you follow these steps and don't get ahead of yourself and try to rush, rush the process, you're going to be fine. But once we're done curing guys, I'll be back. We'll show you the finished product. All right. So we're back. It's been a couple days. We've let this body, uh, cure up for about 48 hours. It's been just over 48 hours since I, uh, glued it up. Um, I'm bringing y'all back to the bench. I will say it didn't sit here the whole time. Um, what I like to do is let it, I, I do this at night. Usually I do my glue up at night and then that way I don't have to think about it. I can just go to bed, not touch it. The less you fiddle with this thing, the better. The, the set it and forget it. It's like Ronco rotisseries, you know? I don't know if you're old enough to know what a Ronco rotisserie is, but you set it and forget it. Um, but once it's cured overnight, I like to take it and put it in. A, I have a windowsill that I put it in that gets sun for about half the day. Um, and I sit it just like this, let the seat, the heat get to it a little bit. You know, you don't want to obviously manually heat it up with a heat gun or anything, but just some, you know, sunlight through the window, uh, will help cure it. Um, <clears throat> I've not touched this body off camera to see how well it did. So we're going to see together. So 
We can now turn the body over. You can see I can grab this thing. It's even got heavy portals and all that on it. And it still holds the body plenty fine with just those three magnets. Um, obviously, we have these magnets still on. So I put this tape here so that when we pull these magnets off, we don't have any issues. Plus, you can see it's dirty from my magnet sitting down here on the welding table. <clears throat> um, we'll get these off. And the way that I move these bodies off, <clears throat> and I'll show you how I go about helping this process, I never pull straight up. I never pull straight up. Magnets are easy, especially these strong little neo magnets are easier to break loose, pushing to the side. So see, it almost pops off on its own. Same with the back. We push it over to the side. That's what we ended up with. We're right there at the window. We didn't go into it. The back, you can see it's got a nice bead all the way around it. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, like I said, this stuff is very thick, but it still does. It's heavy, so it moves around. That's why we sit it upside down. So you can see how it's got that nice footprint. Those even connect in the front. Um, the more surface area that that glue is touching, the better. So when it, when it, uh, you know, you squeeze that body down the first time and turn it upside down immediately, it lets that glue flow down to the corners of those magnets and giving you a good footprint. Um, that's what you want. So when I set these magnets up, what I was telling y'all what I do to help it, I don't set these magnets, the polarity, I don't set them the same. I set them opposite. That way, when you push across, this magnet fights this magnet when it gets to it. And you saw how it just kind of popped up on its own. It's the magnet trying to force it away. So I flip-flop. The, pol the polarity, I was going to say polarity. God, I'm a dang idiot. Dumb redneck from North Carolina. Raise hell, praise Dale. Um, but these are flipped. So um, when you put them on there, I just make sure that this one fights and this one doesn't. I make sure that, you know, when I set my magnets on there, they're obviously right because they're going to only adhere one way. So sometimes you can go in afterwards and add you a little bit more in, I will tell you though, do not move the glue around the paint. The reason I said in the first part of this video to not move the body around is as this glue gets on the paint, it will soften it up. And if you're moving it as it's soft, you're gonna move the paint. Test fit it, make sure you got it where you want it. If you need to do adjustments, do it immediately as you put the body down and add your second magnet, your second set of magnets on top, once you set those magnets on there, it'll stay. Uh, even if you flip it upside down, like I had it and put it on the, uh, you know, put it level, it's still going to stay there. Those magnets up top are going to help. So I have personally done it and messed up and moved the paint. This one, as you can see, is perfect. This back here, you're not going to see if it did it or not. But you'll see two circles start to get here of paint if you're moving it too much. You'll see that paint start to move. Uh, it'll ruin your day real quick. I can promise you that. Um, but that's why we take care to push it straight down onto it, get it set, put those magnets on, flip it upside down, sit it level, walk away from it. Um I'm the world's worst for wanting to continuously try to make sure everything's dead straight. Uh, anybody that knows me knows how, how big of a stickler I am for little small details. Um, I've had it bite me before. Get that down on there. Work with it as quick as possible. You know, have your workstation set up um, ready to roll, you know, with everything you need. You don't want to have to walk away and come back and reposition the body. Once you get it on there, you want to get it on there. Then when you set your body down on there, it locks in place. You can see how I was way forward and it still did. So when you get, go to take it off, once again, push to the side. Oh, pops up. Push to the side on the back. Comes right off. That'll save your magnets from getting pulled off the body. Um, if that paint does move around, you'll see spots up here. You did not get a good glue job. Even if that paint moved and you said, hey, I think it's going to be okay, where that paint's moved, the, the adhesion sucks. It's going to come off, I promise you. I have a body I'll show y'all at the end of this video. 
Um, I'll put it in right at the end and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But basically, that's a start to finish of how I do a, a glue up. And, you know, like I said, magnets are plenty strong on the cheat code. This is not a light build. This has brass links, uh, big heavy brass, uh, you know, diff covers and, um, and portals or aluminum with big diff covers on them. So, um, you will, I'm going to show you guys the trick too. As you can see, you want that body right in there on the sliders. So when you go to put it on, you can even squeeze the body a little bit, let it clip down, then pull your sides out. Most of the time I can get it to drop straight on there, but worst case, make sure it's in the grooves, which it is, and it's sitting plush on this one. Oh, it's nice. And this body, man, I don't want to give this body up, but it's sick. Caldwell Raceworks killed it, knocked it out of the park. Man, that's a killer body. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up how I glue up bodies. Um, and, um, you know, like I said, it's like anything. The, the more time, you know, you spend preparing and you know take your time to get set up the better experience you're going to have and, and that's what we're trying to have in in this hobby you're not trying to fight stuff and be mad and all that man we're just trying to have a good time so like always man i tell y'all if i'm wrong about anything or you have any suggestions throw it down in the comments um i'll come back here in just a second and show y'all what a bad glue up job is maz did this one himself so um, you know, you can roast me in the comments if you like. All right, but, so I got that body for y'all. And as you can see right away, that paint is missing right where those magnets are. Well, what this came from, look, that back magnet's not even there. These have been re-glued once as well, but each one of these have been re-glued. Um, what this is caused from was from me continually moving the body. This is before I started using the magnet method where I would set the body down on the chassis with the glue, wet glue and then put that on once I got it in place. So what I was trying to do is this body was sitting in the grooves of the uh, sliders real well, but it kept leaning to one side. So I kept pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. All the meanwhile, this is probably over a 20 minute period and that glue's tacking the whole time. Well, what it's doing is pulling that paint and I immediately started seeing it pull that paint. That's why I say, get it set down, get those, get it positioned one time, set those magnets. Um, like I said, take your time, don't rush through it, but you have a, you have a minute uh, to get that body where you like it, set that magnet down and then walk away from it. Turn it upside down, walk away from it. Um, this was me sitting there wanting to watch paint dry, you know, by waiting on the glue to try to tack enough to hold it in place was never going to do it. Compromise the glue job. That's why these have come off. Once you start getting that paint mixed in, that adhesion just isn't there. Um, these didn't come off while I was driving. It was from popping the body sideways to get it off. So even shearing the magnets, trying to, to release them, it pulled these magnets off one each and I haven't even glued this one back. Um, I haven't used it since then, it's just frustrating. Um, like I said, this is a prime example of how easy it is to screw it up if you don't you know, set yourself up for success. Uh, this hobby is not for being in a rush. We wanna, we wanna enjoy the hobby, so uh, the enjoyment comes out of successful experiments and stuff like that. Take your time, set yourself up for success. Um, not saying that this is the only way to do it, it's just the way that I've learned the hard way to do it. Like I said, this is done by yours truly. I'm not putting this on anybody but myself. Uh, shows you what a dumb redneck I can be. But You know, three for Dale. Um, but like always guys, 
tell me down in the comments how bad I screwed that body up or, or what your thoughts are on how I do my glue ups or if it differs from the way that you do it. Let me know. I'm always willing to learn new stuff. Um, but as always, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on. That way you know when old Maz uploads a video. And until next time, guys, I hope y'all have a good one. Gen 8.